guys. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Grand Central Dispatch in your application. So create a new application, single view application, and I'm not going to use a storyboard for this tutorial. And I'm just going to call it GCD Tutorial. And uncheck the storyboard and use the automatic reference counting and devices iPhone. Just click next and create your project. So Grand Central Dispatch is for your um, for multi-threading. So in case your app will like take a re really long process to do something, it might affect the user experience. So that's um, when you want to use uh, Grand Central Dispatch, or when it needs to do like a like a big calculation, you can have it um, you can have it run in the background or have it run like um, asynchronously as you're doing something else so I'll show you a quick example so um, for this example I'm gonna have a a label a button and a, and a slider All right. so let me make my connections really quick uh, all right. let me make my label a little bit So my um, my slider will be a, an outlet. I'm just gonna call it my slider outlet. The type is UI slider storage is weak. And label is going to be uh, also an outlet. Display label and my button is going to be called. Um, do something button and shape make sure it's an action so action do something button event touch up inside argument sender type ID right so those are our our three um, elements that we need so let me show you why we would need it first before I get into doing the grand central dispatch Alright, so in do something button, so when the button is clicked, let's say I um, I want to change my display label. Hi the editor. So I'm going to say self, display label, set text. My text is going to be um, sleeping. Alright, so I'm setting, uh, this is before I set the app to sleep, and now I'm just going to say sleep. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep it for five seconds, and when it's when it's done sleeping, when it's awake, I'm gonna say self display label set text uh, awake. All right. Now let's let's run it and see what happens. Yep. Okay. The normal 10 seconds wait for the simulator to launch up. All right. Another 10 seconds for the app to launch up. Oh, a little faster this time. Okay. So now um, I can still move the the slider and everything. I haven't pressed the button yet, but now when I press the button, it pauses it just holds it up like right now I'm trying to move it and I can't even move it and now it says awake I can try this one more time now it seems like it pauses everything and when it's done it like it finally took in my action and then it says awake so that is uh, it will affect the user experience so for example if you're doing some kind of calculations in your app and it takes five seconds and then the user is trying to do something else, so it's like it's trying to move this thing over here. And it has to wait until you're done with your calculations for for the slider to move. So um, that's why we need Grand Central Dispatch. So um, it won't affect the user the user experience while your app is doing some kind of calculations or doing something else. So in order to do that, we need to um, we need to import. Uh, dispatch 
slash dispatch dot h. All right, so I do that in my view controller dot h, and my um, view controller dot m. I'm going to create an um, actually in my do something button. I'm gonna I'm gonna comment out this code because you already seen what um, what the what the action looks like in our app without the Grand Central Dispatch. So now I'm gonna do it um, with the with the with the Grand Central Dispatch. So in the Grand Central Dispatch, there are mainly like three types of queues, like the main queues, the global queues, and the and the custom queue. So I'm gonna be mainly working with the global queue and the and the main queue. So I'm gonna have um gonna have this patch QT and I'm gonna call it Q alright dispatch Q uh, let's see where it is here it is dispatch QT I'm gonna call it Q um, doesn't like it. Let me see if I can put that in there. Alright, so that's my um, instance variable called Q. And in my um, in my did something button, I'm gonna say Q equal dispatch get glo get global Q because my Q is going to be a global Q and um, it's gonna just say dispatch Q priority default and the flag will be zero and from there we can say dispatch async so dispatch async is to um, to do something asynchronously which means like you do something in your in the background also so it doesn't wait until the whole the whole calculation is complete so when you put like something in a dispatch async it takes two argument it takes a dispatch tq which is this queue right here that we've created and it takes a block and the block is a code a block whoops block starts at the carrot and there's a code inside and this block um, when you put something in a dispatch async it returns it returns right away and the code inside this block gets executed um, in the background so so when I do uh, dispatch async and um, and it gets then it gets returned right away and whatever code is in this block will just um, keep executing in the background so it won't affect the user experience so from there I'm gonna I'm gonna say um, sleep for five seconds and um, for here this I'm not gonna do anything with the label yet I'm just gonna show you that right now the app is gonna be sleeping for five seconds and for now, even you should still be able to move the the slider when the button is pressed. So let's see. There, the button is pressed. You can still move it, even though um it is sleeping, but you can't really tell that it's sleeping. But um I'll 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 show you that it is, and that I'm that I'm not lying. <laughs> All right. So let's do a dispatch. Do another dispatch async because um, you can only like when what I want to do is put something to my label letting me know that it's awake or if it's asleep so this patch async and then you this one you don't use Q anymore you have to say um, this patch get main Q because you can only um, change your change your label in the main Q you can't do it in like the you can't do it in the global queue or the custom queue so you have to change in the main queue and then do a carrot and then the same thing here like another dispatch async and in this code I'm just gonna say um, self my 
they call my label display label self display label set text I'm gonna say sleeping all right so now um, it'll say sleeping before it goes to sleep and I'm gonna do another dispatch async dispatch get main queue again and this time the same thing do a care well when you highlight that let me command Z so when you do that you can tab over I'm gonna hit the tap button and from here you can hit the enter button and then it gives you the the code block that you need and then your code goes in here so for this I'm gonna say self display label set text awake alright so again we have to put the quotation marks on there quotation sign alright so now I'm gonna run my app again if the button is just sleeping we can move it do whatever and then um, five seconds later after it wakes up it says awake so same thing here sleep sleeping awake all right and um and we can do we can do we can do more things so we can like we can output the value of the we can output the value of the um, slider also if we want if we want we can we can instead of saying sleeping or awake we can say like uh, uh, self display label set text let, let me comment this out I'm not gonna say sleeping anymore and my text will be self my slider outlet um, dot value okay. dot value is not a string so I I have to do ns string okay let me put a brackets first bracket ns string string with format percent uh, fl float would be percent f alright one more bracket here okay that's good alright let me I'll copy this code and I will comment out the awake code and I will paste the code that I've just copied here in my um, in my two blocks so now I have a uh, I have the main queue and I'm getting the value from my slider outlet before I go to sleep and after I wake up it's gonna show another one so okay, let's run and so when it before it goes to sleep it's five and when it wakes up it's 0.94 so same thing 0.94 and then when it wakes up it's like 0.82 so that's like the value before and the value after and so that's pretty much how you do your Grand Central Dispatch again if I comment out this whole block I'm gonna select the whole thing and command um, command slash will comment out the whole block and again as opposed to doing this which is um, which will help improve the user experience so again say so you can't control it so when you do Grand Central Dispatch, that's how you that's how you can get around um, doing long um, calculations or doing doing multiple something in the background. So that was like the basic tutorial of the Grand Central Dispatch. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.